Depending on when you're watching this video, Facebook campaign budget optimization is about to or just became your new reality in Facebook ads. So today I want to talk about what campaign budget optimization is, how you can get your campaign set up and opted into it, whether new or existing, and then some of the controls you can put in place based on the performance you're seeing through campaign budget optimization. Let's hop in. Let's get started with what Facebook campaign budget optimization is in the first place. This is a graphic that Facebook put together quite a while ago, and honestly, even to this date, it's the easiest way that I can illustrate what campaign budget optimization is. On the left, we have campaigns without budget optimization. So you can see that there are three ad sets within this campaign. Each has a $10 a day budget. Then down below, we can see the performance. So each ad set spent $10, and the conversions are the bars that we see associated. So ad set Set one got three conversions, ad set two got five, and ad set three got two conversions for a total of 10 conversions. What campaign budget optimization does is shifts the budget away from the ad set level and shifts it to the campaign level, like most other advertising platforms like Google Ads, Microsoft Ads, any of those other ones. So in this second chart on the right, you can see that the campaign now has a $30 a day budget and it's not at the ad set level anymore. The way this impacts performance is that Facebook will then divvy out the budget between the ad sets based on the conversion performance that it's seeing. So you can see here that in ad set one, it only gave $7 budget, but it still got the three conversions. Ad set two got $18 in spend, but it generated 10 conversions. And ad set three got $5 and generated two conversions. So the biggest difference here is that once ad sets one and three became less effective, Facebook stopped giving them budget and shifted $8 of the daily budget into ad set two that was performing better to generate a total of 15 conversions for the $30 a day budget instead of 10 conversions for the $30 a day budget. That sounds pretty great, right? Simply by shifting into campaign budget optimization, we take the budget away from the ad set level, shift it up to the campaign level, Facebook does its smart stuff with the algorithm, and now we've got 50% more conversions. Who wouldn't love that? The problem is that's not always what happens in reality in the performance of the campaigns that we've seen so far. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about how you can opt into campaign budget optimization in three different scenarios. The first is with a brand new campaign, and this is by far the easiest way to opt into campaign budget optimization. When you're creating your new campaign, just choose your marketing objective, which I've chosen traffic here, and then down at the bottom, you'll see this campaign budget optimization section, and it will automatically opt you into CBO in your new campaign. You then simply set your daily budget at the campaign level, hit continue, and you're off to the races. The second scenario is with an existing campaign that you already have in your account. There are going to be two scenarios that I walk you through. The first is going to be the smoother of the two options. When you log into any account that you have and you're on the campaigns tab, you can pretty easily see if you're opted into campaign budget optimization from the campaign level, because in this budget column, it'll either have a numeric value or it'll say using ad set. And that means that it's basically using an ad set level budget instead. What we would need to do is come over here to edit scroll all the way down, and there will be this campaign budget optimization square in the same way that we do when we create a new campaign. There's gonna be this little eligibility section here, and in this instance, you can see that there's a green check mark and says this campaign meets all eligibility requirements. Pretty easy, so all we need to do is check this box, It'll then bring up a text box that asks you what you want your daily campaign budget to be. This will always default to the sum of what your current ad set daily budgets are. So in this specific campaign, I have two ad sets, one with a $10 a day budget, one with a $5 a day budget. So Facebook is automatically suggesting that I utilize a $15 a day daily budget. So then if you're ready to do that, just hit publish and it'll publish your changes. So the third scenario I wanna walk through is when you have a campaign that you need to shift over to campaign campaign budget optimization, but it's not quite ready to get there yet. This is just looking at a bunch of old campaigns that aren't in use anymore, but they make for the perfect scenario of what might happen here. This could happen with some of your existing campaigns. So in this account, I'm just going to look at the budget column and see that the first one here is using ad set level budgets. So I want to come in here and click edit. We'll scroll down just like we did before. And now we can see in this eligibility section that it doesn't have that nice friendly green check mark. It actually says that there are some changes that we need to make here. And in this instance, it says check delivery optimization eligibility, choose one bid strategy. So one of the things that we need to do is make sure that all of our ad sets have the same bid strategy chosen so that Facebook can then utilize the same bid strategy across all ad sets when it's divvying up the campaign level budget. So to make this change, we're just gonna X out of here. 
We'll click into this campaign. And then just like we could see at the campaign level, we can see the column of bid strategy and you can see pretty easily that there are some that are lowest cost and some that are bid cap. Neither one of these is the proper one to choose or the wrong one to choose. It depends on your account. So in this instance, if we wanted to update this campaign to campaign budget optimization, we would need to choose either all lowest cost or all bid cap for all of the ad sets within this campaign. And then it would be eligible to update to campaign budget optimization. So now that we know how we can update our campaigns to CBO, I wanna talk about the scenario I talked about before when performance doesn't come out quite as rosy as that Facebook graphic laid it out to be. Maybe you're starting to see that the campaigns are sending all of the budget into one of the ad sets and the other ones aren't getting any spend. Or maybe it's just not performing the way that you would want to conversion wise and you're not seeing the benefit Benefit of having a shared budget across different ad sets. So the first thing I want to talk about is how we can set ad set level minimums and maximums for spend. Once you've chosen that you want to be on campaign budget optimizer, at the ad set level, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom to optimization and spending controls, you'll see that there are a few different options here, but you would want to click on show advanced options for this. It'll then open up a section called Ad Set Spend Limits. This allows you to set a minimum or maximum spend of daily budget per ad set. So let's say in this campaign that we're setting up, we know that this ad set has been one that has performed well in the past, and we wanna make sure that it definitely gets shown and probably spends at least $20 of the $100 daily budget that we set up. After that, we don't really care. The campaign can spend the budget however it wants to across the rest of the ad sets, but this one we know performs well. So we wanna spend at least $20 in this per day. You can easily come in and just set up a minimum of $20, and Facebook will do its best to spend that minimum amount in that ad set. There is a little information icon here that says that it can't guarantee that it will spend that minimum, but it'll do its best based on the targeting options that you've given it and the performance that it's seeing within the campaign. From the opposite perspective, maybe there's one ad set that's taking up all of the daily budget that you have in your campaign and you really want it to stop doing that. Maybe we want to set a maximum spend for a certain ad set instead. Let's say currently there's one ad set that's taking up 90% of your daily budget, and now you want it to only take up maybe 50%. In this instance, we would then set up a maximum for the ad set of $50 out of our $100 a day daily budget. Now Facebook won't spend more than that $50 maximum that you've set on that ad set in any given day. Once it's reached that $50 maximum, the rest of the $50 that we've set up for this campaign level budget will then be divvied up between the remaining ad sets in the campaign, and it will no longer be spent on this ad set. These are great controls to start off with if you're not seeing the performance you want to out of your campaign now that you've opted into CBO. Start using minimums and maximums to kind of tailor the ad spend across ad sets in your campaign to see the performance that you want. The problem is there's a little bit of a temptation to get way too controlling with these minimums and maximums. I would suggest that you pick only one, either set minimums or set maximums in the campaign, but don't set both because you're gonna start getting too restrictive. And I would also say don't set minimums, for example, to total up to the campaign level budget that you have. So in the example I just showed, we had a $100 a day daily budget. Don't have five ad sets with $20 minimum spend requirements on them. That's just gonna get too restrictive. I would say probably maybe 50% of your budget, make sure that you're aligning it to where you want it to go. So you could set up maybe $10 a day across those ad sets and say minimum $10 for each of these ad sets, but then let Facebook optimize for the other half and see what it'll come up with. If you get too restrictive, the Facebook algorithm will get bogged down and it won't be able to serve your ads nearly as effectively as we want to. The last option we can do here is to start to use campaign structure to impact the performance that we're seeing in the campaigns. So if you've opted into CBO and you've tried using the minimums and maximums and it's just not giving you the returns that you want, we can start leveraging campaign structure to set up the campaigns, have more control over the budget, and make sure that the audiences that we know are performing well are getting the budget that they deserve. So the first option we have here is the traditional and probably existing campaign strategy that you have set up. You've got your campaign level settings, and this is gonna share a budget with CBO. And then you've got your three different ad sets. Just for example, I've utilized different types of targeting just so it's easy to see what's happening. But in this example, let's say that our behaviors audience isn't getting the budget that it deserves, or there's some sort of lack of performance that we're seeing from the entire campaign while we're using CBO. And we really wanna have more control over how the behaviors audience is performing 
because minimums and maximums simply isn't cutting it. So the next option you could try is to create a different campaign to target them separately. So here we have the existing campaign on the left, or basically the middle of this entire slide now, that has two ad sets, lookalike and interests. They were performing well together in the previous campaign, so we left them there. But behaviors is one that we wanted to break out to have a little bit more control over. So we created a completely new campaign just for behaviors that just has one ad set targeting the behaviors. We can now control the budget at the campaign level, but it's effectively acting like it used to with ad set level budgets because there's only one ad set in the campaign. There's no other places for the budget to go, so you're effectively controlling it in the same way that we used to to try and maximize returns. This is definitely more more of the drastic approach to this, and I would suggest doing this kind of later down the line if you've tested CBO and it's not working well for you, but it certainly is an option and we're not completely stuck in CBO with potentially lower performing campaigns. There are options, whether it is using minimums and maximums or leveraging campaign structure to get out of it. My hope for you is that once you opt all of your Facebook ads campaigns into campaign budget optimization, everything performs super well but that's just probably not gonna be the reality of what's gonna happen. So hopefully after this video, you have a better understanding of what campaign budget optimization is, how you can get your new or existing campaigns into it, and what you can do if you start to see performance fluctuations that aren't leaning the way that you would want to and still be able to control the campaigns as well as you have in the past. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.